a pipe. So this is when he started smoking. A beer tankard, but there was vodka in it. Drained to the last drop. Mm -hmm. You ruined your own life, didn't you, buddy? A knife covered in blood. Guess Holgeard got the scars on his shoulders that winter. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. Probably not right. He's holding up like a scroll or something, it looks like. Marriage contract. Um, a marriage contract between Iris and Olgeard. Her father must have been holding the contract. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me, till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here, forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Servant, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Oh, man. Ah. Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. Mm -hmm. Yep, he spent so much. He he summoned that the guy to help him get what he wanted, and then he got it, but he couldn't get out of the contract or whatever, and he ruined his own happiness. <laughs> And now he's trying to blame the mirror guy, which, I mean, he is probably partially to blame because he's a little prick. But the fact remains, Ogierd basically did it to himself. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places, the same as then. You do the rest. Hmm. Animal hair. Single place setting. No others on the table. I'd love to be able to see. Whoop. That's the back of the stairs. So we have a doggy and a kitty sitting at the table. A large clay bowl. Small bowl for 
suit, maybe. So I'm guessing the cat gets the small bowl and the dog gets the large one. A platter. This was yours. There we go. Where in the world is the food pl Oh, maybe the caretaker's carrying it. Yep. Perfect match. actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you, care for the house, no matter what happens. Before, I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours. I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgeir. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Oh, joy. Is it her husband? Because, man oh man, this guy deserved the life of torment that he got. My dearest wife, letters from Old Gear to Iris. Were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart, I see how you look at me, and I see you wither. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Olgierd. Crap. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Whoa. 
Why, why? Why do you not hit the thing that I want you to hit? You twit. Oh god. <laughs> around with this crap. It's not so dangerous, but we've chosen to deal with witches. All right. Must you Come on, fellas. Kidding. Come on. Thank you. For God's sake. Now. Fail. What? Lost your nerve? What? Oh my god. They're really kidding me. This is a joke. This is an absolute joke. So we have bombs. We should probably maybe use some of those. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We have Superior Dancing Star. That's cool. Grape Shot. Summon. Dragon Stream. Devil's Puff Ball. Cloud of Gas that explodes when lighted. I guess we're going to use what we've got equipped. Put that on. Really? Come on, guys. You're kidding me here. Hmm. So that stunned him. Kitty frack. Jesus. You won't <laughs> Dude, you you need to just whoa. Here. 
Go through the fire. Uh-huh. Ha! Success. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. Well, lady, um, I'm really sorry about your life and how shitty it was. I'm just ready for this nightmare to end, aren't you? I have come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time, I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look. You buried my body, and the flowers bloomed once more. And I... I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Why are you still concerned about this prick? Your husband's got a powerful enemy. Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he, and how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate. Because at heart, he's unhappy. At heart, he is stone. So nothing has changed. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much. But I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift.
So, the rose is like what's keeping you alive, right? Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. Friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose, feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest, if I take the rose, you might cease to exist, as might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer, but I fear there will be cold and darkness until there is nothing at all. Oh dear. Mm. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Olgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell. Well... Can't get out that way, huh? Roach, where are you? Hello, Wind's Roach. Howling. Well, that was really sad. <laughs> Feel sorry for that poor woman. Okay. Go, go. Come on, Roach. So, yep. It seems like 
he made all these wishes. Get up. But didn't really understand Move it. how he would get tricked or trapped by them. And it seems like all he wanted was, uh, you know, to have a life with his beloved. Hey there. Come on.
so they'll figure it out. Please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He counts half the bank. Two points, and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draught. Geralt, over here. Oi, wait your looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey now. Don't make me beg. It's my treat. Show off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. You actually control time, or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Hmm. Let us say, time has always fascinated me. So, I taught myself how best to use it. Why time, of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. Length, width, height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? Come now. Who are you, really? Gauntor Odin, also known... Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grab their wishes. And drop them in a world of hurt. No, not I. That would be their poorly formulated wishes. I'm no cheat. I give folk what they want, nothing more. That the oft desire unworthy things, that is entirely the fault of their rotten natures. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you, and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead, or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with Olgierd. In fact, You've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the Temple of Lilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. 
end quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my suit? I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness. Just one of my many qualities. You toss this fly in my suit? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <coughs> What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Aye. Got it. Hold there! Your friend. The medic. She were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. 